Hi guys, so we're gonna start today's writing lesson. So I'm gonna share my screen with you um, again so that you can see today's PowerPoint. Here we go, I'm gonna minimize me. Okay, so welcome to day two of informational writing. I hope you all are as excited as I am to begin our research and write an essay on a new topic. <clears throat> so on Monday, um, you guys brainstormed ideas to come with, up with a topic, right? So today we're going to be learning how to kind of narrow down those big, broad ideas into smaller ones. And I want you to think about a watermelon. A watermelon is really large, right? But when we cut it into slices, it gets a little bit easier to eat. There are also seeds in a watermelon, right? Which really are the smallest part. So we're going to use this analogy of a watermelon and seeds while we think about our topics. So the watermelon being kind of the big idea and we're going to try to narrow it down to a smallest small um, idea so that our writing is a little bit more focused and it makes it a little bit easier for us to write. Um, <laughs> so before um, we start working on our own, let's read a text about a food you may or may not have heard of. And while we read this, I want you to think about what you notice the author did. What do you think their specific seed idea was? All right, so here's the text. Follow along with me while I read it. Have you ever tried a chimichanga? It is a large burrito with meat, cheese, and vegetables that is deep fried. You will find chimichangas on almost any Mexican restaurant menu, but El Charo Cafe in Tuscan, or Tucson, Arizona gets the claim to fame. It is said that the chimichanga was first made in that restaurant. The crazy thing is that the original chimichanga was a mistake. The first chimichanga. Monica Flynn started the restaurant El Charo Cafe in 1922. What's Cooking America reported that Flynn was cooking burritos in her restaurant kitchen when she accidentally dropped a burrito in the deep fryer. In that moment, she had no idea that her accident would be the beginning of a new entree that millions of Americans would enjoy for years to come, naming the chimichanga. Why did Flynn call her creation a chimichanga? When she dropped the burrito, she almost said a curse word. She didn't want to do that in front of her young nieces and nephews, so she called out, chimichanga. The word was called out in frustration, but the name later became so common that many have shortened it to chimmy. Popularity. The city of Tucson was proud of the chimichanga. In fact, according to Food and Wine magazine, Tucson has placed ads that encourage Americans to visit Tucson, home of the chimichanga. In 2011, El Charo Cafe and Macchio's Mexican restaurant worked together to collect signatures. The restaurants wanted the Arizona State Legislature to make chimichangas the official state food. According to their website, they were able to, to collect 2,200 signatures, but a bill has never been passed. The next time that you take a bite of a delicious deep fried burrito, remember that not all mistakes are bad. Okay, so what did the author write about? Well, they wrote about chimichangas. In this report, the author focused on just one type of Mexican food item found on menus, rather than writing about several food items. We learned so much more than if she tried to write about all the choices on the menu. The author gave us so many facts we can always write another report to share about a different seed. For example, the author might write about tamales next. So now let's take a look at this chart. So you're going to have something that looks like this for your assignment today. 
It says narrowing a topic to a seed report. A seed report focuses on a small part of a topic. So thinking back to Monday's um, lesson, we came up with some ideas to write about. So I took two of mine, amphibians and Washington DC. These are my watermelon topics because they're kind of big. There's a lot of different types of amphibians. There's a lot that I could write about Washington DC, almost too much. So I try to think a little bit smaller. So thinking like a slice of a watermelon, it's only part of the whole, right? So a frog could be my topic because that's a type of amphibian, a little bit smaller, right? But if I want to be even more specific and find a seed idea, something that is even more focused, I could be as specific as a certain type of frog. So I made one seed idea I could write about the red-eyed tree frog. So see how I worked from amphibians to frog to red-eyed tree frog. So now my topic is that seed idea. This will be a lot easier for me to write about instead of all the different types of amphibians. Another example of that, Washington DC. So I'm still not sure which one I wanna write about yet. So I decided to do my, um, my, uh, I can't think, my um, assignment <laughs> on two different topics. Eventually I'm going to have to pick one. But for now, in my planning stage, um, I'm still kind of deciding which one I'm going to pick. So for Washington, D.C., there's so many things I could write about. So then I thought, well, I really would want to write maybe about landmarks and memorials. Again, though, that's still kind of big. There's lots of different landmarks. There's lots of different memorials. So I just picked one specific landmark, and I picked the Washington Monument. So I'm deciding between these two seed ideas right now that I'm going to end up writing about for my nonfiction um, informational essay. So your job today is going to be doing this assignment for yours. So look back at your assignment from Monday, look at your ideas that you wrote and put, them, put two of them here. So pick one topic that's kind of big another topic that's kind of big. And these are the two, again, that you're kind of back and forth on. You're not sure which one you're gonna write about yet. Then see if you can make it a little bit more specific, like your slice, and then get really specific, a specific um, focus, your seed idea. So that's really what your job is to come up with um, what you could write about specifically for your essay. So that's your job, um, picking two topics, and then you can submit your assignment when it is done so that I can check it. Um, and keep in mind that you don't, if you don't know a lot about the topic you're picking, you might need to do a little bit of research um, before you get to your seed idea because you might have a big idea and not know how to get to that small seed idea, so do some research. For example, when I was thinking about Washington DC, I know there were a lot of different monuments, a lot of famous places. So I had to go and do some research and um, look around before I was able to pick the Washington Monument. So I had to do some, some thinking and some learning myself. So you can use some online resources to help you to research um, and come up with those small ideas, that seed idea, idea that it, you might not be able to just come up with on your own. You might have to do some research, okay? So let's um, get started. And I'm excited and I'm eager to see what kinds of ideas that you guys come up with. So good luck and I'll be checking these as you turn them in. Okay, and definitely ask me questions if you guys need any more explanation on what to do. And I hope this helps.